Will is hoping to find a decent sized specimen to put some of his theories to the test. humidity raises the stakes. Sweat is a good conductor of electricity, and any shock is much more dangerous when you're wet. He returns to the eel's hideout. The ultimate stealth machine is no match for Will's modern gadgetry. Biologist Will Crampton is attempting to catch an electric eel. Okay. Special anti-conductive rubber gloves should stop the shock from going to his heart. Okay. Ah. Ah. Shock me. A shock hits the metal net and touches Will's wet clothes. But this time, he gets off lightly. Oh. <laughs> Strip that off, yeah. Wow, look at this. With the eel safely in the open, Will finally has a chance to get up close to this mysterious creature. That's, uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, that's a uh, one meter, 20 centimeter eel and a stream. Look at the size of this stream. It's, <laughs> It's only about half its length in width. Um, I think what must happen is the eels come out of larger streams and come up at night hunting small fish. Uh, it's just incredible to find something like that in a stream this size. Most fish can't survive out of water, but the eel has another superpower. It can breathe air, which means Will can study it out of the water without harming it. But for now, it's more at home in an inflatable pool. He's big. A good pair of thick rubber gloves. This is a really essential piece of kit for working with electric eels. These ones are rated to 10,000 volts, which is more than enough. This is very heavy. can just move him around here. These are his guts, and he doesn't like that, obviously, but um, the visceral cavity is restricted to this area. It's stomach, it's liver, all of its visceral organs are located in this area. The anus of the electric eel is located here, underneath its chin. It needs to dedicate as much of its body as possible to electric organs to generate this enormous electrical output. Perhaps the most startling feature of an eel's body is hiding inside its mouth. Pop it open, and you'll find its lung. Try and open up his mouth, if, if he cooperates, that is. The entire lining of the mouth of an electric eel is modified for extracting oxygen from the air. Essentially, it's a lung. In fact, because electric eels breathe air, we're able to keep them out of the water for very long periods of time. They don't seem to mind at all. Here we go. See the pink folded lining to the entire mouth. Oh, he bit me and shocked me at the same time, I think, but I didn't feel it through the gloves. Certainly felt the bite. <laughs> 